Hello people, I am Javi Kawe, joined by Achara Kirk. Hi guys. We're gonna look at the trailer to Kasari. I very, very, very much enjoyed all the teasers that we looked at just yesterday. I am so excited for this trailer and for this movie. I have no idea what's in store for us, but Akshay Kumar looks badass. This film comes out in exactly one month from today, and it's also starring Paranita Chopra, who we haven't seen at all in the, no. in the teasers, but we saw some cool looking weapons, and we got some good feedback from our audience, mm -hmm. and we have a, a little bit better of an understanding as to yeah. all this stuff, and apparently Jabby says sick correctly, and Achara does not. No one's counting points, no one's, this is not a no. contest, it's not a contest. No, clearly but not. But Achara is always right, according to some of you, and that is false. So, here we go. he looks like really fierce. No, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's an intimidating looking yeah. beard. It's like so. It look, it, I would definitely wouldn't be at the front of that, <laughs> running up to him when he's got all those weapons. In oh, the, here we go. The romance. Yes. That's very interesting the way he's wearing that. Yeah. See, I'm glad they're showing all this stuff. Because then you know there's like heart as well. Yeah. The family ang angle. It's exactly. Not, it's not like just you, the battle. Yeah, you need that. Whoa, oh, crap. Okay. Well, it's like we were talking about. Yeah. You know, the terrain, they set up the traps. Holy smokes! Oh, oh. Damn. Cut him down. Wow. Why would you run up to him, dude? Like, you can see it. Damn. Wait, who is that? Is that him? It might be him. I would imagine that he's the last to go. Right. And instead of letting them take him alive, he's like, no, you can't have me. You're gonna, mm -hmm. you're gonna have me on my terms, biatch. I'm gonna set myself a fire, a flame. A fire. A fire, a, a lit. <laughs> This on party the, in, is in, lit. In the flames, yes. and I'm gonna come after you. No one's gonna wanna touch me, but I'm gonna get at least 20 of you. It was, oh, wow. it was like an old western I saw. I think it was thinking it was Wyatt Earp. Not old, but like from the 90s or something. I think it was Wyatt Earp. Someone was trying to take someone, and I think it was Wyatt Earp who goes, you can take him, but I'm gonna take you, and you. Right. You boys can get me. That won't be any problem with all the guns you got here, but I'm taking 10 or 12 of you with me. Go ahead, but three of you, I'm gonna get at least several of you. And here is a similar kind of situation where he's like, I'm gonna die no matter what in this circumstance, right. and I'm gonna take as many of you with me as I can. Man, that's that's balls to the wall insane. And what's cool about this trailer is how it's following up to the teasers because it's piecing all this together. Yeah. It's not just like arbitrary imagery and then this is a completely different thing. Now it's like connecting all the dots, fitting all the puzzle pieces together. For instance, I thought that the person holding the round weapon, I, I apologize, I don't, I don't remember the name of it, and the person holding the sword that's hot, 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's red. I thought those were two different people. I didn't right. realize it was just him. And you saw how like that fit in with other things going on. I mean, you get a, a sense of it, but it just has more context now. The thing that I appreciated a lot as well is the, the heart, the soul, mm -hmm. uh, before it gets to the war stuff. And it's something that we were kind of talking about yesterday. You need that. You need to know what matters to these people. Exactly. Yes, it is also about family and stuff like that, but I feel like there's a lot of pride. Oh yes, that as well. that kind of, yeah. that warrior spirit that is so important to them. I remember in the beginning they were like, oh, you know, just give us something as soldiers to do. Like, they, they want to fight, they want to have that. I mean, at least it seems like that from what they're showing us in the trailer. That's all just very interesting and it just creates that kind of more well-rounded character, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to it being like, oh, it's a war, I'll, I'll fight, rah. No, right, I mean, before they get into Helm's Deep, that's a reference to our other reaction if you haven't seen that. Yes. I know I said it twice already, but I really appreciate the aspect of showing family, of mm -hmm. showing who these people care about. This is gonna sound like a random reference, but that was like my biggest gripe with The Martian. Matt Damon's on this big adventure and I have no idea who he cares about. I have no idea why I should care about him because right. I, I don't know who he's connected to on Earth. Here you're seeing who their link is, who is they care about specifically, like other than India. Mm -hmm. Who are the people that matter most to them immediately? And who, you know, who cares about them? Like most immediately besides, exactly. besides there's that kind of general aloof feeling of like, yeah, those are our brothers in arms, but it's right. like, they have names, these are people. Exactly, and you know? everyone has a family and everyone has someone that they're fighting for. And it just makes it easier as an audience to be able to hook in emotionally if it's something that, like on a level that we can understand, because not all of us are fighters or in the army or desire to be, but we can all respect the people that lay down their lives in order to protect their country. But in order to get there emotionally, you need to have that like extra yeah. layer. I even get weird around military people. And I come from a military family. Like my dad was in the Air Force. His dad was in the was in the Marine Corps. His dad before him was in the Marine Corps. We were at Universal Studios with mm -hmm. two Charles Law and just hanging out. These two guys recognize me. They go, oh, you do YouTube videos, right? And I go, yeah. And I looked at them and I just knew, almost like looking at one of these sick warriors, you're like, you know, you know exactly what time it is when you look at them, right? <laughs> they look like military people. I go, oh, so, so what do you do? They go, oh, we're in the army. I go, oh, well, th uh, thanks for that. <laughs> I just like, it felt so weird because they're the ones that recognize me. It was almost like that Chandler moment when he realized what nurses did in World War II and he's trying to prevent this nurse from hitting on Monica. Sorry, I just, I watched Friends religiously so that popped in my head right away. That same kind of awkwardness. But anyway, back to this. I like the way this is shot. I like the way that Akshay Kumar looks. Yes. Uh, Paraniti Chopra looks totally different from what I remember. Obviously she's playing a character so that naturally that makes sense. This also further emphasizes the brotherhood between these guys, mm -hmm. the closeness, what they're willing to do and what and what they're up against. Like you get it from that bird's eye view, that helicopter yeah. shot, but you're also seeing them on the ground and what's going on. And it's like, you just get more of the scope of all of this. So this is a great trailer. They've done such a good job with Akshay Kumar's look for this. His beard is perfectly waved, but he just looks elegant and yet ferocious at the same time. And I really like how he's bringing his quiet intensity to this and yeah, it works. That's what he does. Yeah. When he is in the middle of the, of the courtyard and I guess, you know, if you're, if you're kind of putting the pieces together, at some point they do break into the fort. Yes. Right? And he's fighting, he's taking them on, on all of them. He's like, I don't give a single F-bomb. I'm gonna take on every last one of you. Yeah. And there's a dude who runs up to him and I'm like, I, I know that that's very plausible and that happened, but why would you? <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you saw what happened. Like you saw that they took out at least several thousand of you in the process of trying to get into this fort. Why would you be the one to, don't be a hero, don't run up to him. Just like, that's why you got stabbed straight through the stomach and lifted up like that, bro. That part, I loved, but also my rational brain is going, whoa, your bicep must be so strong. Cause well, you're lifting one dude with one arm, but it looks there's awesome. Also, there's also the argument of adrenaline. Like, true, when, true. I would imagine that when you're in a situation like this, I don't know because I haven't been to war, but I would imagine when you're in a situation like this, your adrenaline is at a constant 10. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, It's certainly. like survival. He's not just in war and it's not just survival. He's also, a uh, 
a hero. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like in StarCraft, when you got your heroes and you got your, like, Marines or whatever, like, the people that don't matter, but then you got your legendary hero characters who got right. way more life. All the six are, like, you know, heroes. Yeah. Well, I remember reading the comments on our teaser, and then, uh, I don't remember who, but you know who you are. He said, it's like... 21 Jedis against 10,000 stormtroopers. Yeah. And I think that's a pretty good comparison. I think that's very apt. That makes a lot of sense because you have people who are basically, sorry to bring this back, like the, the super Spartan Indians, right? Like yeah. they're, they're like seriously trained and they're the most elite of the elite. Yes. So yeah, they're like Jedis going up against cannon fodder. Cannon fodder. That's, yeah. that's the Freaking phrase I was looking for, thank you. You're welcome. Cannon fodder. Those turbans are huge. They are. I've never seen turbans that big in, in person. No. Nope. Those, those are quite sizable. What's also interesting is that they wear the, the ring weapon around their head. I also read in the comments that they use that to prevent sword attacks to the head. And seeing it that way kind of makes sense now. That's smart, I think. That's super cool. And then you can take it off. That's a very functional way to use and holster your weapon. I really, really am digging the cinematography here. I'm digging yes. the aesthetic overall. That shot where I believe that's Akshay Kumar who jumped off the side with the rope. Yeah, there's so much cool looking action in this trailer. You have to consider that this is in a time before modern military strategy and weapons and like tactical gear. This is way before all that, right? It's 1897. And yeah. so that's, he's just got a rope and he's doing that that maneuver. Now you have gear that makes that way less likely that you're gonna break a, a bicep or something. Because you can really, like, it looks cool, but you could seriously injure yourself doing a maneuver like that. Uh -huh. Not these guys. Nope. Nope. Super power. Yeah. I love that moment when, right near the beginning of the battle when the, the, the ground blows up because they mapped out the terrain. So yeah. it's almost like, <laughs> This is such a shitty comparison to bring up, but like it's almost like the Americans trying to invade Vietnam. It's like, bro, we know our territory. You don't know our territory. Exactly. You might get some of us, but we're gonna take so many of you down in the process that yeah. you're gonna wish you didn't mess with us. And the other battle that we mentioned the other day from the Outlaw King, you know, when they were going up against Robert the Bruce, like he mapped out that terrain, and then yeah. there was like mud covering up the the spears that they have when, mm -hmm. when, the, when the cavalry tried to come in. It's pretty dope. It I is. mean, this is gonna be, what's cool is there is, even though the, I guess the arrangement is relatively simple, like they're in the middle and a bunch of people are coming in, uh -huh. right? There's gonna be so much going on within that that's fascinating yeah. to watch just from a, for lack of a better word, a choreography perspective, like how this is all kind of structured and how they go about it. And like you said earlier, you know, we're getting a glimpse of the brotherhood and camaraderie between the troop. But I'm hoping that, you know, there's gonna be well-established characters, like different characters that we can kind of latch onto in addition to Akshay Kumar, you know? Yeah, one would hope. Yeah. I, I kind of, hmm. That's interesting, that's an interesting notion. I didn't even think about that. Because they didn't really emphasize anyone but Akshay Kumar in the trailer. I no. thought there was some nice banter a little bit between them in the beginning, and I'm hoping that there's more of that in the movie so that we can really, you know, feel for each individual as they're going through their journey. It's probably not gonna end really well. Like, at least one person burns themselves alive. I already anticipate that I'm gonna cry when I watch this film. Yeah. When you're seeing them with their family, and then they have to go into this battle, you you know what the outcome is. And it's kind of gut-wrenching in a way. It's kind of heartbreaking. And so as each person goes down, I feel like this is the kind of movie where you're gonna feel each one of those soldiers going down. Yeah, like it, all of the 21 deaths, assuming that none of them made it out alive. Yeah, neither of us have really read up on it. No, but we like, haven't. We're deliberately but, not. Yeah, I yeah. just want to be surprised. Yeah, and on that notion, uh, Apollo 13 made it back Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Be sure to check out Jabby Koe on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. Thanks so much for hanging out. Love y'all. I'm Jabby Koe. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.